Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to the Russ Robo Channel News for March. January, February, March. Yep, March. <laughs> I always have to do that. I always have to think about it. But um, the it, I'm sorry that the videos have been pretty short this month. I just wanted to say that first uh, and foremost. Basically what I've been doing, I've been busy all month. Uh, if I'm not doing one thing, I'm doing another thing. I have like three main things I like to do. Um, video games, uh, YouTube, and Amp Guard. Um, and basically I've been working a little bit more Amp Guard into some of the videos. As you can see, I did like the uh, Amp Guard and VR uh, series, like those two videos, which were just some videos that I, were, I was playing around with for a little, uh, little while because I had the 360 cam and they're fun but I'm still working out the bugs and of course there was the trip to Coronation uh, which I actually did a video on um, just reviewing their page and some of the experiences that I had along with my friends I didn't actually get to take any videos of like the actual events at Coronation but I did take some nice pictures and I was really glad to share those uh, if I actually do uploads every other day, which is the way it's supposed to be for the channel, there should be about 15 uploads in between each, you know, Russ Robo channel news. So 15 uploads for the month instead of every other day, which would be an average of 30 or 28 for the short months. There's nowhere near 15 videos this month. It's like seven. <laughs> if I if I upload today on Monday and then Wednesday and then Friday faithfully, I should be up to like 10. <laughs> so there's definitely some videos missing there and it's been a rough month for the channel. But I'm glad to see that I do still have some, or like we in the channel and it's still growing and people are still coming in. So that's always nice to see. We're up to almost 100 now and I'm really proud to see that. So I'll try to think of some sort of special that I can do or something that I can do for a hundred subscribers. I might just invite my friends over to a game of GTA 5 or Dead by Daylight or Minecraft or I don't know. We've all got a lot of online games that I've been wanting to play with them. But um, we can never really sync it up because we all have full-time jobs. Um, the other thing that was a big deal was, ah yes, 300 episodes. I have almost 300 ep videos I have almost 300 different videos on the channel uh, as of, I think this will be 298 or 29, this is either 297 or 298, then two or three more and I'll have 300 videos on the channel total, which is, you know, not much in terms of like Let's Play Gaming channels nowadays because, you know, most channels have, you know, two or three thousand videos, but uh, I'm glad to have almost 300 videos because that's, you know, no, it's just, it's just felt right to me. It's almost uh, 365 is 365 days. You know, that's almost a year of video. A year of watching. Like, you could watch one video a day and, and, and watch it for a whole year. But um, I'm actually glad that I got to do a few interesting things this, uh, this month. Mostly Amp Guard related, uh, which I won't work too much of that into the channel, but I'll try to work in what I can as long as it's good. Focusing more on quality more than quantity um, what else was there this month uh, also I don't have I don't have a list I don't have any kind of sheet to look at to see what I'm supposed to say this is all just unscripted I don't know if you if you guys out there would like that more or the one where I'm like you know I've got my little notepad here hang on let me grab it and I'm like the next bullet point is blank I don't I didn't do that because I'm in a hurry because there's not enough videos on the channel right now so I was in a hurry so I'm just winging it we're winging it um, the other thing was uh, I know I know what it was ah well I'll get to that other thing later I'm sure I'll figure it out if I mention this first um, uh, the the um, Ro uh, robot arena 2 DLC like the um, god it's been so long the star is it the StarCraft Star something mod? I'm gonna finish that. Uh, January, far, February, March. March is almost over. So, April. I'm gonna finish that in April. Guaranteed. Or at least the lightweight portion. I'm gonna finish the lightweight portion of the Robot Arena 2 tournament. Um, I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because it doesn't get a lot of views, personally. And it requires a lot of editing because I just... I almost absolutely... I almost 
absolutely refuse to upload those videos if I don't have cuts in between each fight so that there's no, you know, there's no me looking for the next team, no me looking for the next robot. It just goes, fight, I'll be right back, fight. Fight, I'll be right back, fight. There's no, there's no, pa like, there's pauses in between, but there's no, like, lag. There's no, you know, like, wait for, you know, hang on, let me go find the next robot. Okay, now I'm finding the next team. You know, if I was going to do that in a live stream, that'd be fine. But I wanted to be fight, I'll be right back, fight. Fight, I'll be right back, fight. You know? And I, I, I almost refuse to upload it if it doesn't have music. I like it to have music. And it can't just be... And that's another thing I have to edit in. It can't just be one track playing throughout the entire thing. It can't be just one track of music playing all the way through, through the fights, uh, uh, through me talking, through the next fight, then it ends, then it starts playing again. I cut it when the fight starts, and I cut it when the fight ends, and I pick a new song for the next fight, and then I cut it when the uh, fight starts, and I cut it when the fight ends. And if more, if less than half of the song had the opportunity to play for the first fight, I'll cut it and then add it in at that point in the next fight. I just, I have these like, it's not OCD, it's just little things that I like to do to add, um, you know, just nice little touches for my videos. And I don't look, I look really tired. I'm not that tired, I promise. Hang on, coffee. Ah, uh, yes. Another thing that I wanted to vent, uh, mention is that I'm going to shave this scruffiness off of my face soon. It looks like I've been on a desert island for about a month and forgot what a razor blade is. But I grow hair fast on my face and, and hair and head and, and everywhere. So I'm, I'm rocking the ponytail again like when the channel started like freaking almost two years ago now. <laughs> like the very first video. You can't even hardly tell I have the ponytail because it's a terrible angle and I had a bad camera. But uh, like uh, me and Jason were playing Robot Arena 2, uh, the vanilla of Robot Arena 2. And uh, I, I was rocking the ponytail there, so I'm, I'm growing it back. It's a man bun now, which I, I don't know. Some people have their opinions about that. Some people have their other opinions about that. It's down to what I like. You know, be yourself. You know, don't let other people judge you. Just do you. If they don't like it, screw them. <laughs> let people accept you for who you are. You don't have the time to be somebody else. It's too time consuming. Be yourself. It will save you all the energy and trouble uh, of trying to please other people. And that's partially why the channel is doing good and partially why the channel is doing kind of not so good. Because um, you know, people like that it's a little bit unique, a little bit different, but also I'm not doing the more popular things. There's a lot of different things that I could do uh, that my friends have told me time and time again that I may get around to when I'm more comfortable. Like for example, playing more up-to-date games that literally everyone else is playing just for the publicity of it. Uh, like the shooters, you know, the Anthem, the, the Fortnite, the Monster Hunter, you know, playing those games, definitely a big thing that I could do. But I'd rather be a small channel and, and do things that other people don't do than be a big channel and just do the same thing that everybody else is doing. You know, you're not going to come to that channel to see that. You could go to a bigger channel. Uh, just, I'm trying not to be a hipster there, though. You know, I don't do it because it's cool. I want to be different by doing the not cool thing. Uh, what else was there? Live streams. Live stream is definitely a thing that I could do that could help with the popularity of the channel. But more than that, I want to focus on consistent uploading, uh, which is I fell behind this month because I just I had a lot of stuff that I was doing on the side. Uh, we're running long in the rambling. I'm over 10 minutes already. I've got I've got to cut this thing short. Um, boy, um, in Amp Guard related news, uh, I'm going to try to train uh, to be the next monarch of our park, which is basically like the head honcho in charge of. Um, atten what did they say it was? Um, was it attendance and organization? I know organization was one of them. Um, record keeping and organization, I think, was the main thing for Park. Uh, basically, when people sign in, you keep the sign-in sheets. Uh, you keep the sign-in sheets. 
so that they get their points in their class that they signed up in. And you enter those points into the ORC, which is the online rep... Um, ORC in AmpGuard stands for Online Record Keeper. It's pretty cool. Uh, you enter points in and you can get points in that class. And as you level up in those classes, you can use better and better abilities as you level up. And um, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links like non-stop. But it's just, I don't think anyone wa would watch that on the channel. But I freaking love that game. Uh, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links constantly. Uh, try to make better decks. Uh, I, I try to participate in PvP and PvE. I mostly pay, uh, play PvE against the NPC. Uh, PvP against the NPC. Uh, Freaking all these letters. <laughs> all these letters. It's crazy. Uh, I am tired. I need more coffee. More coffee. I'm, I'm trying to record. Basically my strategy is each day record two videos and upload just one of those so record two upload one and eventually maybe I can actually have a pool of videos that I can fall back on for times when I go on these amp guard trips to other parks out of town um, or times when I take uh, vacation or times when I'm sick it would help a lot it's just I've been working with the full-time thing trying to make YouTube videos trying to do amp guard stuff I had to buy a sword because I'm too st uh, strapped to make one. I really want to make a good sword. Um, that sword I showed you uh, by Stinkfoot, um, it was the, um, what do you call it, um, Sloth Foo is what they called it because the theme was Sloth King and God, I'm rambling. Um, it was, it's a great sword. I want to make one uh, as close to it, as much like it as I possibly can. Uh, for gaming news, I really want to try to finish the Lightweight Tournament and Robot Arena 2. I'm going to continue with uh, more of the uh, Mugen uploads, and I'm going to continue with uh, War Tech Fighters. As far as War Tech Fighters go, I didn't say it in the last month's channel upload because it hadn't happened yet, so I get to say it in this month's channel upload. I figured out how to use allies. Uh, it's up on the D-pad. <laughs> Uh, I can finally use allies. I went through a stealth mission, which was a new type of mission that I hadn't had the opportunity to try. Um, I may do maybe like a live stream of some of the uh, extra challenges that you can do in order to earn more credits. And uh, there's the other type that you can do. There's two types. There's challenges, which is for credits, I think, and survival, which is for experience, or vice versa. I'm not sure. Uh, I might have gotten that backwards. Uh, but either way, one is for experience and one is for credits. Credits can be used to buy additional parts uh, for your war tech and additional research, which research unlocks um, either, I think research unlocks both parts and percentages, which is basically what I call, you know, you have this weapon, you've done this research, now this weapon deals 14% more damage, 12% more damage. Your shield does uh, ten, you deflects 10% more damage. Uh, your shield now deflects 10% more energy damage. So it unlocks percentages, you know, uh, uh, effects. It increases the percentage of good things, like more damage, uh, do more damage to your enemies, take less damage, move faster, get more boost, da 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 da. And that's what you do with research. And with credits, you buy parts that are connected to that research. I'm, I'm just spitballing right here, but I, I love theory. I love theory. That's one of my favorite things. I want to learn as much as possible. I was really happy with the editing last month. Um, uh, mainly for the... Mainly... Oh, that's that's another thing, the editing. Um, I uh, got to do the Russ Robo new channel intro for 2019. So that'll be the channel intro for this year. I got to do the whole... Like, it was... Um, it's, it's not... It's not, I hate the fact that it's mixed in with the other videos now because I just wanted to be the channel intro, but it's basically a funny clip that I did, and then uh, like the, the transition where it's like this, the TV static, you've seen a lot of, I'm sure you've seen a lot of channels do that where it's like a funny clip and then static, funny clip, static, a funny clip, static, and that's obviously a bunch from comedy specials and things like that. 
Uh, what else was there? Um, I'm so, I'm going to try to find out uh, time. I'm off Fridays and Saturdays. I'm going to try to find a time slot in there and maybe make like little printouts with my printer of like uh, you know how you would advertise for like a welcome to the birthday party or welcome to the wedding. I, I'm really rambling. I, I hope you guys don't mind. Um, basically, I'm going to make flyers and I'm going to hand them out to my friends that sometimes play games with me. And I'll let them know that I'll be available to play online on PlayStation 4 during those hours. Because I would really like to include my friends more in my videos because I know that that's more entertaining. And the more entertaining, the more successful the channel. It's better for the viewers, it's better for the channel. You know, I want to be, I want to try to be as entertaining as possible. And being able to play off of other people will really allow us to be able to, you know, roll the comedy into great new directions. And, and it's, it's, it's been done before. It's been done before. It's tried and tested. It's been done. Uh, I'm not doing anything original there. Uh, I'm just doing something that's right. So I just, I guess I just wanted to say it to let you know that I know the method. I know how it needs to be done. I just need to set it up. I need more experience. It's been, um, about a year and a half, almost two years that I've been doing it, uh, part-time, YouTube part-time, uh, but I haven't been able to do full-time obviously yet because I don't earn any income yet yet from it, so I have to do, you know, as they would say, I gotta keep my day job. Oh, good God, I'm almost at 20 minutes, I'm sorry. I'm going on so long, so, um, continuing, um, uh, continuing, uh, Naruto Battle Climax, continuing Robot Arena, continuing War Tech Fighters, I'm gonna try to find a fourth thing in there to throw into the mix just so it doesn't get too stale and then of course there'll be amp guard every now and again uh, um, for my tax rebate this year I want to try to get uh, an action like the GoPro cam like the GoPro 7 and actually take videos of the fights because I love the 360 cam but that's sort of like a specialty sort of thing it's made for if you have your phone and you have the VR headset that goes with it you can put the VR headset on and look around the area as if you were the person wearing the head cam. Like let's say the person wearing the head cam has it on the helmet like I do. If you have your phone and the app that's connected to the, um, the I think it's called the Black the Blackfin 360 cam, uh, you put the headset on and you can look left and write as if you were that person there at that time. So let's say I took a video of us at park fighting. Let's say I'm fighting a guy in front of me. If there's a guy about to stab me in the back behind me, um, I can't see him. But if you watch the video and you have that headset on, you can pause the video and look behind me and you'll see that guy about to stab me in the back, you know, in amp guard, in amp guard. Uh, you know, while I'm fighting the guy in front of me, you can pause the video and look to my left and look to my right and pause it and look all around me and see things that I couldn't see. And I like doing it um, on my phone because um, on my phone you have to flip it. But on uh, my buddy Jeff's phone, he has like one of the newer iPhones. As he turns his phone, physically turns it, it turns the perspective of where you're looking in the video, which is really cool and you can tell GeForce game ready driver is available. Whatever. It's really cool and you can tell that that turning means that it is actually ready for to be put in a headset. You know, because now they have those phones that... Like, some people like it, some people don't. Because basically, uh, most people prefer something like the... Um, it's the HTC Vive, right? No, 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 no. That's a phone. That's a phone. The Oculus Rift. Most people prefer the Oculus Rift because it's actually a built-in screen. And the PS4, um, the, the PS4 VR, uh, most people prefer that because it's a built-in screen. Other people feel that, you know, the ones for the phone is basically just sticking your phone in a cardboard box and then slapping that to your face. Um, some of them are a bit more advanced than that, obviously. But um, it depends on what program you're using and what hardware you have. Man, what the heck am I doing? I'm rambling. I love rambling. <laughs> oh. But um, those are all the plans for the channel for this month. I hope this video was informative in some way. And maybe I can cut this thing down to about... I, I hope I can cut it at least a little bit because we're going on almost 30 minutes here. All right, folks. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I certainly enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed watching all of my videos. I certainly enjoy making them. Uh, leave any helpful comments that you might have in the comment section below. Any suggestions as well. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.